I found that raising chickens really does add so much to everyday family life. It provides my kids an education that can't be taught in the classroom, and giving them an opportunity to participate in raising and caring for animals that feed the family really is priceless. Right, Daisy? I've recently surveyed a number of homeowners as to why they raise chickens, and many of their reasons reflect my family's. First and foremost, having a daily supply of farm fresh eggs can't be beat. They simply taste better, and having the opportunity to see where real food comes from is something everyone should experience. It's a stark contrast from how most of today's processed foods are produced, and that in and of itself is a valuable perspective for kids and adults alike. Regardless of why you might want to raise chickens, you're not alone. It's a trend that more and more people are embracing. With that in mind, today we're going to talk about a number of things that you'll want to consider when making the decision as to what's the right chicken coop set up for you and your family, as well as some resources that will help you bring your vision to life. Before you get too far into your planning of your coop, it's important to see if you can legally raise chickens where you live. Check your local ordinances and homeowners association covenants to ensure you know what the regulations and requirements are. One of the most important considerations in raising chickens is making sure that you have an appropriate place for them to live. Your feathered friend's home could be made by converting an existing structure like a shed, dog run, or other outbuilding. From a budget standpoint, this is probably your lowest cost option. But if you don't have a structure that can be easily converted, don't worry, you have plenty of options. With the rise in popularity of raising chickens, there are plenty of off-the-shelf chicken coops to choose from, or you can do what my family did and do a custom build. As far as cost, the range, regardless of which route you take, is going to be anywhere from a few hundred dollars to several thousand. Regardless of your budget, you'll need to make sure your coop is large enough for the number of chickens you want. A good rule of thumb is, for a free-ranging flock, you'll need about three to four square feet of coop space per chicken. So, for five chickens, you'd need a coop that has 15 to 20 square feet of floor space. If your flock's gonna be spending all or a majority of their time either in the coop or in their run, you're gonna to wanna to have at least 10 square feet of living space per chicken. So if you have a flock of five chickens, that's 50 square feet of living space. Another primary consideration is your nesting boxes, which are where your hens will lay their eggs. Now you may think that each hen needs her own nesting box, but in my personal experience, that's not been the case. We have nine hens and three nesting boxes, and invariably, all nine hens will lay all their eggs in one nesting box. But that may not always be the case, so if you have a ratio of three hens to one nesting box, I think you'll be in good shape. To encourage your hens to use their nesting boxes, they should be placed about 18 inches off the ground where it's dark and away from all the chatter going on in the rest of the coop. Since you'll be collecting eggs every day, the nesting boxes should be easy for you to access. That's why you'll often see some sort of trap door on the backside of the nesting boxes. That way, all you'll need to do is open the door and reach in to grab your eggs. It doesn't get any fresher than that. A few other basic considerations when planning for your chicken coop include fresh water. Just as important to your chickens as it is to you, you'll want to make sure to change out their water often. Having a water source nearby makes this much less of a hassle. So consider the location of yours as you determine where to place your coop. You want to make sure to plan for enough space to store your chicken feed as well as all the other chicken related stuff that you'll accumulate over time. Now you can either do that by incorporating storage into the design of your chicken coop or just make sure that you have a storage shed nearby. Be sure to store all your food in a tightly sealed container. We started out with plastic bins but soon discovered that mice and rats would eat through them to get to their food inside. Today we use galvanized steel pails with locking lids and they'd really do a great job at keeping rodents out of our chicken feed. Be sure to consider predators when constructing your chicken coop. You want to do whatever you can to protect your chickens from predators such as foxes, coyotes, and hawks, among others. Now while chicken wire does a great job at keeping chickens inside a space, it's not sufficient in keeping a determined predator out. With that in mind, that's why I recommend using hardware cloth instead of chicken wire when constructing your chicken coop or run. To truly predator-proof your coop and chicken run, you'll need to dig a trench around the perimeter and sink the hardware cloth a good 12 to 18 inches into the ground. You should also add a layer of hardware cloth under the floor of your chicken coop or run as an extra layer of protection against digging predators. Use hardware cloth to seal any holes in the eaves of your coop as well, regardless of size. You'll be surprised how small a hole some predators can fit through when they want to make a meal out of your flock. Finally, and maybe this is because I'm a landscape designer, but I think that you need to spend a good amount of time figuring out what's the right style of not only your chicken coop, but the surrounding area. Let's face it, 
you're gonna be spending a ton of time outside with your chickens. So the more beautifully that your chicken coop and the surrounding area flows with your home, the more I think that you'll enjoy spending time with them. You can learn more about raising chickens and building your chicken coop on the Redeem Your Ground blog, www.redeemyourground.com, and search for chickens. So there you have it, some considerations for building your very own chicken coop. And hopefully this video is giving you some of the tools that will help you get the job done. As always, please check us out at wearexmark.com for more done in a weekend project ideas. Until then, here's to enjoying life outside, and perhaps with a few feathered friends like Addie. <laughs>